Question number five. Andrew Little. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Prime Minister. Does he stand by his statement that threats of trade retaliation by China, if New Zealand investigates substandard Chinese steel imports, are unsubstantiated rumours, given his government has been discussing that threat with China since May? Prime Minister. Speaker, yes, every time the issue of possible retaliatory action against our exports have been raised, uh, New Zealand has uh, sought and received assurances from China. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Andrew Little. Was the government's decision not to investigate substandard Chinese steel imports connected to trade threats from China, or is that just a coincidence? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Speaker, I'm not aware of a decision the government's made in regard to that. Investigation. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Andrew Little. Is it just another coincidence our kiwi fruit exports are now blocked from China after Chinese threats of trade retaliations if we investigate their steel dumping? The Speaker. Right Honourable Prime Minister. Uh, Speaker, my understanding is that the issue holding up uh, imports into China of, of, kiwi zes, of, of zespri kiwi fruit is a technical matter. Uh, it's a technical matter related to some rot that was found on fruit that was imported uh, some weeks earlier. Uh, my understanding is that zespri have voluntarily decided not to export the fruit because they are going through now a pre-examination process that will ensure that when they restart uh, the exports to China uh, that they are rot free. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Andrew Little. Why is it acceptable for China to ban New Zealand exports for containing a fungus that poses no health hazard and has been present on our kiwi fruit exports to China for years? Speaker. The Right Honourable Prime Minister. The member is leader of the opposition, and on the basis of that, he has some responsibility at least to get the facts vaguely correct. Uh, the facts are that Zespri voluntarily stopped sending uh, exports for about a week of kiwi fruit to China. They have not been banned by the Chinese. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Andrew Little. How has he let the relationship with China get to the point where they are allowed to send us shoddy steel, but we can't send them top quality kiwi fruit? Order. Speaker, the right honourable prime the minister. The member is just making the stuff up. He does himself a disservice. Question. Order. Question number six.